my name is Helene and today we're going to be making a pair of shoes. I bought this sneaker kit over a year ago, maybe more, maybe two years ago, and I've been a little bit hesitant, overwhelmed, intimidated to actually start it. Um, but Ben is tired of tripping over it on our workshop floor. So I'm going to try to do something about it today. I believe Sneaker Kit is the name of the actual brand that makes these. So in the kit comes with a pattern comes with some thread and needle, some insoles, and the outsole. Okay, so in general, the finished products I've seen come from the sneaker kit. They're typically one layer of leather and that's it. And to be honest, it doesn't look super comfortable. We need a certain level of comfort for our feet, let's be honest here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try adding some padding. I'm gonna add a liner and obviously I'm gonna be using a sewing machine for all these parts because I do not want to hand sew all that, uh, but I'll have to hand sew the upper to the sole. So why don't we just, uh, we'll dive right into it. So the first thing I did was print off a bunch of copies of the pattern and cut them up for different pieces of the shoe for the eye stay piece, the back logo piece, and the lining. I started with the back logo piece and just stitched the bottom of it on. Next, I prepped the eye stay pieces and glued those on as well. Now we have to start the lining. Okay, so we've got the liner here. So what I'm gonna do is actually sew it around this edge and then I'm just gonna trim off any excess instead of trying to line it up. Cause what happened earlier was it just wasn't to the right size and I don't know how hard it would be to get it exactly right. So what I'm gonna do is just sew it on and then trim it. After sewing the lining to the outer leather, I want to attach the rest of the lining.
Now it's time to cut some wool felt for the padding. here. We're getting closer to the to the final product here. Yeah, so there's the inside of the shoe. So the next thing I want to do is I want to sew up uh, this area and then we can add eyelets after that. It's time to punch the eyelet holes and the stitching holes. Almost there. So we just gotta put the eyelets in. And then this piece will be pretty much done, other than just uh, cleaning up this, this edge here. So eyelets are in. Next thing is just to finish these edges. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the tongue now. I'm gonna sew this little shoelace tab here first and then uh, then we'll glue it up. I'm actually going to do is I'm also going to add a little tab here. So I'm just going to cut this and then add a little tab just for aesthetics. So I just kind of want to add a piece of veg tan in between these two layers to give it a bit of reinforcement there. So I'm just gonna cut out a piece of veg tan that's just gonna sit right in there. So they made the sneaker kit obviously very intuitive and it's uh, simple to use. There's a little, I don't know if you can see it here, there's an 
arrow. But that's where you start it. And then you match it with the pattern. And you match it with the pattern right here. So when you start to stitch it, you just put put it where the arrow is and that's that's your first stitch. All right guys, so the shoes are almost done. But we need one more hit. All right guys, the shoe is finished. They're definitely not perfect, but I'm really happy with how they turned out. They look really good and they look a lot nicer in my opinion than just the basic pattern. The lambskin that's in there gives it, I don't know, it just looks really good. That lambskin lining um, and that little bit of felt padding. Definitely, I wish I had some foam and use that instead because that would be way more comfortable and it would give it just a little bit more, more pop. Again, these are not perfect by any means. I really wish the liner was cleaner. Um, there's some stitching that I would have liked to clean up a little bit, but you know what? I'm glad I tried all those things because I, I learned a lot. Now I really want to try to actually make a pair of shoes using a pair of lasts. I know it's like a totally different ball game, but I really want to do it. So you'll probably see a video sometime in the future of me trying, attempting to make actual shoes. So Ben already tried these on and direct quote from the man himself. He said, they're not as uncomfortable as I thought they would be. So that's not a stamp of approval. I don't know what is. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. I'll shoo you later. I'm just gonna sneak her away. Okay, bye. They're not as uncomfortable as I thought they would be.